Well, good morning, friends. Welcome. As you can see behind me here, the railroad crew is working on getting that guardrail down. The bell on that guardrail system went off for about eight hours or more yesterday. Ding, 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 all day long. It was, it was, you got used to it after a while. But it gave me time to reflect on how nice a quiet day is like today, especially in the last several evenings that we haven't had power here in town. We still don't have power for the full town. We do. Well, if we had an electric panel, we would have power. But our block does because the police station, the municipal building is right back here. So that takes priority. It's a, it's a good thing for us. We have a storm, power goes out. We know we're going to be like first up. That's cool. But it didn't do us much good. It was so cloudy the last couple of days, so we don't have, still don't have enough power. We might have it now to uh, generate a little bit of battery charging capabilities, but that's not gonna help us today because no matter what I do with that, it's not gonna give me enough power. The battery's going bad in the, the house battery is. So uh, it's not gonna operate a concrete saw that I really wanted to use for this part of the project today. So I'm gonna do it old school. I'm gonna use chisels and a hammer and just chip out a little bit of the concrete so I can you know, knock it all out so it doesn't look like crazy. Try to put a nice line in there and, uh, and see what's going on. We've got to go from the water meter to the inside of the building because of this big water leak that I've told you about. I, I think that I kind of see where it could be happening. Let me show you that. I have my things prepared, my caution tape and chisel and hammers and I'm going to try to make this as clean of a, a project as possible. I put down a tarp here. But there you see the water meter right yonder. And we have to make a trench over, over this way. So I've got this crack in the concrete. You may not be able to see it very well. So that'll work for me. And I'm going to just chisel a line right across here and, uh, and remove that concrete. That should be plenty of room to dig out. And this, this was just left here by people that were doing the the wall repair before and this was their leftover concrete they just they just did that but i think the water leak is happening here where you see this depression in the sidewalk this is a, a telltale sign of of water damage underneath the ground that wouldn't just belly in like that if, if there wasn't you know if there was proper uh, soil underneath and gravel here we go got my my hearing protection ready to go, gloves. I think I have everything. Got my couple of chisels. Uh huh. I think we're ready to start. It's one of these things I've kind of put in my blind spot for a couple of days you know, with the hurricane going on. I didn't want to start the project without knowing that the supply house was open and they, they still might not actually be open, but I need to see what's going on here just to make sure and then go to the store with a list of things and hunt those things down if I have to. But I need to get this going. You know, we're, every minute that we keep going on it, we're, we're losing money, losing water, causing a problem somewhere along the line. So uh, let's get going. Luckily, my hearing protection includes uh, Bluetooth, so I got my Grateful Dead playing. So they, they got it working over there. All right. I don't have an actual heavy duty sledgehammer. I used to. I don't know what happened to that thing. Yeah. Take a look at that. See where the, there's joints in there, purposely made. It wasn't just thrown in. So it tells me that this was this was a brick sidewalk, or I'm digging up part of the brick street. It used to be here. Yeah. Wow.
in the meter box. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to take that whole meter box out of there for sure. I don't think there's any other way to access it. Whew. Beautiful day. Glad it's not too hot. I feel like I'm 150 degrees right now. It's probably only about 70, 75 out here. Pretty quiet except for the sound of chainsaws cleaning up stuff. A huge pile across the street here. I don't think they have power yet. But somebody's been working over there for a couple of days. Just got the train tracks are working. Train went by. It was nice to see. And here, blew the horn a couple times. Whew, buddy. More to go. Let me show you what's going on down here. I see here is the elbow. It's 90 degrees coming out and turning and just going that way. And we're going to have to take out this whole thing to access any of that. That's a pretty big pipe and to be able to get a wrench in there to loosen that up. Well, yeah, I need a little bit of room. I saved you a lot of, a lot of hassle watching me dig this entire hole and a lot of adult words that uh, you know, I was trying to keep under my breath. But here's what we got so far. We've opened things up quite a bit here. I've got all the way down as deep as I want to go. And really good news, there is the bottom of the foundation. I'm going to be able to go straight underneath that and up inside. That's going to prevent any kind of freezing possibilities if the pipe had to go on the outside, which was maybe something we were going to have to do. But not now. So that's that's a really good thing. Now I've already called 811. I made sure that all the lines were marked out so I wasn't going to dig in anything, just in case you're wondering. And I also have called the county water department a, a couple of times to come out and just make sure that I was looking at the right thing and get the right direction. So I did get the go-ahead from the, the town here, or the village, and from the water department to do what I needed to do to get this thing get this thing connected up. So, well, here we go. I'm gonna have to take this whole meter box out of here and put it back in just the way I found it. Whew. It's not so bad, not so bad of a job. This can here is a steel casing. It's not gonna get damaged probably no matter what I do. It's meant to drive over with big trucks and stuff, but I don't want to damage too much of the surrounding area. I want it to be stable when we put it back in, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. But I want to be a little bit gingerly, and also the fact that the van is sitting right on top of it, and you might wonder, well, just why don't you move the van? Well, it's a little complicated because the, the trailer's on it, and I could situate it a little bit better, but I think we can get it out without moving the van. If not, well, we'll deal with that later. here there's the there's the nut that I have to get to with a wrench pretty big one I have the wrench there's no way that you could get one in there without taking this whole surround out of there so that's that's what we're doing baby. Holy Moses. Ooh, it's just simple as that. Wow. Huh. Okay. Next. That'll be just a little temporary caution area. No one really walks on the sidewalk anyway. We have a neighbor that walks his dog sometimes, but he'll know not to walk the dog over here, at least for a couple hours or maybe until tomorrow when we get this thing really rolling. So trying to get it done as quick as possible. So maybe even today, but I want to show you about how deep this is. So you can get your bearings on this. If you have 
to do a project like this yourself. So let's take a look. We'll go to the, the bottom of the pipe here. There you can see where we're at. We're at about 22 inches. I bet the frost line is about 18 in this part of the country. I'm not really sure on that. I'll have to check. But this was done to code at one point, so we're going to match that. Right from there to there will be the same depth. It looks like it might be the exact same depth over there. We'll confirm that, but if not, just a small slope won't, won't affect anything. We'll go right straight up on the inside. Well, the cleanup crew, me, is uh, almost done here. So once I finish all that up, then uh, I might go in and enjoy beer and regroup, figure out if I have all the parts and pieces for this thing. I really hope I do because the supply house, although it's not as far away as some of the other places, it's still about a 30 minute drive. And as I explained before, the parts and pieces for this size is, is very expensive. So I want to be precise on what I need and not buy extra stuff and waste any time or money going back to return things. So I want to know exactly what I need before I go. That's, that's the goal every time, but that doesn't always happen. Hopefully it does this time. Never could start this thing easily. Never. Not even on day one. It's always been kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, well. Well, the cleanup crew will get to it eventually. Whew. It's taken me a while to get everything organized out there. I took a little bit of a break, but not much of one. I got back at it pretty quickly. I had to do a little bit of work down here. This is the, I'm in the outdoor shower area underneath the stairs where the water originally came into the building. I'll show you down here what I'm looking at. I showed this in a previous video, but in case you didn't see that, this pipe right here is a galvanized pipe that goes that used to go about eight feet straight up in the air and then entered the building up there yonder well I didn't want that thing in the way so we just cut that I put a union here and a disconnect so we well that's a union but uh, that's so we could take it apart in case there was a problem like now and in the process of that I noticed that there was some water intrusion there was a big wet spot in the what might be a bathroom in the future on the concrete floor. So uh, I wanted to make sure that this was sealed up properly. I'm going to stucco this wall. And then we'll hopefully be able to take this apart. I did find out I do not have all the parts I need. I need a, a one and a half inch to two inch coupling that'll have to be purchased before I take anything apart. So this hopefully is for tomorrow. The hurricane has really rocked things around here. So I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not. I'm going to call around and make sure right now we're getting close to the end of the day. So I'll see if I can get a hold of anybody, but we might have to put this off all of it until tomorrow morning anyway. Well, thanks for joining me today, friends. I appreciate your company. I'm digging some holes and you know, just talking a little bit. It does help me pass the time. I hope you enjoy it too, seeing part of the process. You know, it's uh, something I've never done before. Uh, mess with the meter and that kind of big time pipe and it just seems like a, a chore but it's really not that bad thanks for joining me today friends i really appreciate your company here at the old bank of johnston i'll see you in the next video